So, this is my microprocessor. Also, what I have is my hard disk. Also, what we have is our RAM, correct. Now, hard disk and RAM is directly connected. RAM and microprocessor are directly connected. Anyways, understand this. The program which needs to execute will always be saved on your hard disk. If this program must execute, it cannot be on the hard disk. 100 percent it must be placed on the RAM loading. Now watch it all of you. I will take this program and because it is connected, I will load it. When I load it, one region on the RAM will be created for Java's execution. And what is the name of this? Java Runtime Environment or JRE. Yesterday I told you. Also I told you JRE is further divided into four parts. What is the name if you ask me? Code segment. Second part is called as static segment. Third part is called as heap segment. Fourth part is called as stack segment. Now, we are going to understand Java from the perspective of these memory segments. Clear till here? Let us begin. All right. Now, watch it all of you. Today, I told you we have to start with variables. Assume like this, I will create four variables. Int A, next variable, float B, next variable, character C, one more variable, boolean D, like this I will create. Okay, Watch it. One more variable I will create. Now listen to me. If I ask you a question, are these instance variables or local variables? What would your answer be? Instance or local? Hmm? Local. Instance. Can't say. Okay. What else? Okay. See, those of you who are saying, sir, what I can't say are correct. Because simply if I write four variables and ask you instance or local, on what basis will you answer? I hope you are able to understand. These are just variables. I hope you are able to understand. Now, if you want to differentiate and tell me whether it is instance or whether it is local, then some extra information you need. Right now, what are they? Variables. That is all. We do not know whether they are instance or local. Now watch it. How to differentiate, sir, whether it is instance variables or local variables? If you ask me, watch it. In Java, there are two types. Instance variables, local variables. Now, I am showing what is instance. Watch it. These same four variables I am writing again. But this time, I will take these variables and put them directly inside a class. I will put them directly inside a class. Clear till here? Now, such variables which is created directly inside a class is only called as instance variables. Whenever in Java you see variables directly inside a class, immediately you must categorize them as instance. Clear? Now, the question is what is local? Watch it. Same four variables I am writing, but this time first I will put these variables inside a function or inside a method like this. What is called as functions in C, C++ only in Java is called as a method. You can call it whatever, I am calling it as fun. Now in Java there is a rule, every piece of code should compulsorily be inside a class. This is a rule, nothing can be outside a class. Which means this method, I should put it inside a class. I hope you are able to understand. Now, if you ask me, sir, is this instance or local? I will tell local. Why? Local variables are such variables which is created directly inside a method, not inside a class. Everything will be inside a class only, correct? But look at this. First, is it inside method or inside class? First, it is inside method, local. But here you can see it is inside class, but not inside any method, instance. So, this is local, that is instance. Clear till here? Now, just through visually, visually if you want to identify instance local, 
you have to see if variables are created directly inside class instance if variables are created directly inside method then it is local so visually you are able to identify yes or no friends very good but those are not the only differences those are not the only differences there are many more differences which in today's class we will explore but to begin the class i wanted you to be able to identify instance identify local and now you know how to identify directly inside class directly inside method that's it understood till here now i am continuing watch it what i am now going to do friends is i am going to write a small program which will show you instance variables okay <clears throat> watch now all this you remove control a delete watch it now let's start i am going to go on top create one presenter create one class i will call this class as the demo class i mean sorry dog class i will call this class as the dog class clear till here okay sir inside this dog class what will you do watch it all of you know that 100% class is imaginary doesn't exist what exists in reality are objects of the class correct now what i want to do is in java i want to create one dog object how people answer every object in this world will have two parts what are the two parts has part does part yes or no has and does for the time being i don't want to talk about does part let's ignore it today's focus is on has and let us assume dog has a name dog has a breed dog has a cost yes timmy tommy jimmy all these are nothing but dog names only okay some human be names are also there i'm sorry if i accidentally it okay anyways breed you know pug alsatian all these are nothing but breeds and then what we also have is cost yes or no friends okay correct sir now these three fellows i want to write there because has part of an object is only handled using data types correct but in that watch it name name is not int name is not float name is not byte short char boolean float double name is a series of characters yes or no series of characters is handled using something called a string which separately i will be teaching but for now go inside and i will tell string type name like this string type name semicolon clear next breed string type breed because breed also you know alsatian pug all these are nothing but characters series of characters not one character next cost cost can be int also float also i will maybe tell uh, int like this int type cost 10000 12000 13000 like that clear till here okay very good am i clear till here now you must look at this and tell me are these instance variables or are they local variables instance how do you say that directly inside a class not inside any method hence instance clear till here now i want to create an object and execute this program but if a java program must execute compulsorily one method should be there which is that method main method without which execution is not possible now watch it main method you can write it inside the same class or you can write it inside a separate class because i don't want to mix code i will create one more class am i clear watch it class you can call it whatever you want i will call it as demo i will call it as demo inside that public static void main of string arguments and why this is the signature of main i have already taught you okay now i'll come inside now observe friends observe 
class does not exist in reality. What exists in reality are objects of the class and I have not created any object. This is just a blueprint. Now, you understand? Now, using this I want to create an object and objects in Java can be created using only one fellow's help and that fellow's help is a JVM. JVM is activated using one keyword. What is that keyword? New. Very good. New I will tell. Clear till here? Now, I will tell a JVM, please go and create an object of a class called as dog. Like this dog I will tell. Next. Wait, wait. Next, not only should you tell dog, open bracket, close bracket, semicolon you should put. Why to write this? I will certainly explain later. But new JVM gets activated. Whose object are you creating? Dog class, open bracket, close bracket, semicolon. Next, you should not stop here. Every dog has or not every dog means not like that, everyone has a name or a reference, yes or no? Even in Java, every object should be given a reference. Clear till here? How to give a reference? Equal to assignment. I will call this as D. You can call it whatever you want. Now, D is a reference to which type object? Dog type object. Now, you should tell that. D is of type dog. Clear till here? Now, object is ready. Now, object is ready. Now, watch it. This program may seem like such a small simple program, but the point here is I want you to understand what happens in the memory when this code executes. Clear till here friends? Now watch it. Observe carefully. This program, I typed it. When I am typing, it will be on the RAM. But if power goes, program will go. Hence, I would have saved this program inside a file on the hard disk name of that file will be same as the class name inside which I have main method demo.java that is my file. My program is inside that. Now if this program should execute, it cannot be on the hard disk. It should be loaded onto the RAM. On the RAM, there are there is one area. What is that area? JRE. That JRE has four segments, code, static, stack, heap. In that, whatever program code is there will be present inside a segment called as code segment. I want you to understand. Which means all this code is inside which segment? Code segment. But there are three other segments. Watch it. Now, here, watch it carefully. I am removing this part. Now, I am showing you. Okay, This is the JVM. We have activated it. That is okay. Now, watch it. That is in the code segment, but also what we have is stack, also what we have is heap, also one more segment is there called as stack. For ease of understanding, I am showing it like this. Clear till here? Now watch, try to understand. The first method to always begin execution in Java is main. Execution begins from main. Control goes inside. First line assignment, control comes to right hand side. In right hand side, new means who gets activated? JVM. Now you must understand. Whenever you activate the JVM, something happens on the heap segment. What happens, sir? JVM will go inside the heap and it will allocate one brand new block of memory. It will allocate one brand new block of memory with an address. It will allocate a new block of memory with an address. Clear till here? Now, JVM will be like, programmer, why did you call me? That is when you are telling JVM, I called you so that you can go to a class called as dog and create an object. Clear till here? Now, JVM will go to dog class. And listen carefully, JVM will now search for instance variables. What will it search for? Instance variables. You please think and tell me, are there instance variables? Yes. How many instance variables? Three. Name, breed, cost. Now listen. Instance variables are such variables for whom memory is allocated on the RAM 
inside the JRE, inside the heap segment. Clear to clear? And watch it, name, memory gets allocated. Next, what is it? Breed, memory gets allocated. Next, what is it? Cost, memory gets allocated. Clear to clear? But JVM will not stop here. Instance variables means JVM will do something extra. Look at it, name, breed, cost. Is there anything inside it? No. Now, JVM will fill something. What will it fill, sir? Values. What values, sir? Default values. What are they called as? Default values. Now, what are default values? Listen. Look at name. What is the type of name? String. String means default value is null. String means default value is null. N U L L. Next, breed. What is the type? String. String means default value is null. Cost. What is it? Int. Int means default value is 0. Understood? Float 0, 0.0. Double 0, 0.0. Char, empty character. Boolean means false. These are called as default values. No need to memorize. Jeez, just keep coming to class. You will encounter all default values. You will get, register in your mind. Clear till here? Okay, sir. Till here we understood. Now watch it. So much happened. You told new. JVM got activated. On the heap, he allocated one new block of memory with an address. You told JVM, create an object of dog class. It went, saw three instance variables are there, allocated memory for three instance variables and initialized them with default values. Initialization means giving value to, is only called as initialization. Yes, it initialized. Clear till here? Now, right hand side is over. Control now comes to left hand side. Clear? In LHS, what you are creating this D is a reference. Yes or no? References in Java are not created in static, is not created in heap. References are always created on static. Clear? Hence, like this memory and okay, sorry. Now watch it. Okay. Now I am just showing that part to you. <coughs> what is that? Anyways. Wait with it. Watch it carefully. Just put this. Add it. Watch it. Like this, this is only D. This is only D. I am showing it here. Clear till here? This D is nothing but a reference. Clear till here? Oh, okay, sir. What will be inside D, sir? Watch it. D is a reference. Reference variables are such variables which will store the address of the object. What will it store? Address, which means 1000 will come and sit here. And hence, this D is now referring to this object, pointing to this object. Hope you will understand. That is why if you ever want to access this object, the only way to access it is using D because only D knows where the object is. Did you understand till here? Which means when the first line executed, so much happened. Clear? Though the program may look simple, that is important. Clear? Now watch it. You want proof. Sir, really, sir, is name, breed, cost having null, null, zero? Prove it, you may say. To prove, you should be able to see using your eyes. If you should see, it should get displayed on the monitor. And if something should get displayed on the monitor, we should print it. And how to print something in Java? System dot out dot print. I should print. Now watch it. I am going here. And in the next line, I will tell system dot out dot print ln. I am printing. Now, what to print? Watch it. Come inside. See here. I want to print whatever is inside name. How? See here. D. D. 
means what is the thousand? I'll reach here. I want to go inside. How to go inside? Dot. Dot means go inside. Three fellows are there. Who do you want? Name. Tell that. What is the value of name? Null. Null gets printed. Clear till here? Next line. Again I will tell. System dot out dot print ln. Clear till here? Next. D. You will reach there. Thousand. Go inside. Dot. Ah, what is it? Breed. Correct. Very good. Now you understood. Copy that line. Paste it again. Ah, now tell me what is the last uh, thing I should tell? Ah, D dot. Ah, system dot out dot print and D dot cost. Correct. Now watch it carefully. I want to execute. So I am just removing this. I am bringing up my command prompt. Okay. Watch it all of you. If in case, first I should compile the program. How to compile? Java C, give the file name. What is the file name? Demo.java. Correct? If I press enter, then compilation is successful. Now I want to execute Java space demo. All this I had talked to you long back. If I press enter, null, null, zero. Name, breed, cost, string, string, int. Proof or not? Okay, very good. Now some of you will be like, sir, which dog in the world will have name as null, breed as null, cost as zero, sir? I want to give my name. I want not your name, name of the dog, I mean, okay? I want to give name of the dog. I want to give breed of the dog. I want to give cost. Can I replace this null with the name which I want? Yes. You want to see how? Watch it. Go down. Now, press enter, scroll a little bit, yeah, watch it. Again, only way to access an object is using the reference D. You will reach there, dot, you will go inside, name, you will access name. Now, I will not stop here, assignment, I will assign. What do you want to assign? Assume Scooby, double quotes, because it is a string, inside that I will tell Scooby like this. Clear till here? You say S C double O B Y, otherwise dog will feel bad. Okay. Double O. One B. Okay. Okay. Clear till here, friends? Okay. Next what? If you do this, name had null, but now it will be replaced with Scooby. Similarly, D dot breed. I will give it as some pug like this. Again, within double quotes, I will tell pug. Clear? Next, D dot cost and I will give the cost as some uh, 10,000, whatever, any thousand, okay, whatever. Clear till here? Nowadays, dogs are more value than human beings, nothing can be done, okay, clear? Now, stab it. If you do this 100 percent, watch it, name had null, but now this name will get scope. Breed had null. It will be replaced with whatever you gave, pug. Cost had zero, it will be replaced with whatever we gave. I mean, I have told 10,000, but here I am showing 12,000. Does not matter. You can change that to 12,000. Clear till here, friends? Okay, sir. Very good. Next what? Next what means I want to prove to you that really this change happened. For that, copy these three lines. After this, I will paste. Clear? First time you should get null, null, zero. But next three times you should not get null, null, zero. Scooby, Pug and 10,000. Correct? Watch it. <clears throat> if in case I were to compile it, no issues. If I were to execute it, null, null, zero. JVM gave default values. Then you gave your values. Scooby, Pug and 10,000. Did you understand? Which means you have learnt many things about instance variables. What is it? Let me combine all the knowledge. Clear the screen, bring that back. Watch it friends. Basically, observe this. First point, instance variables, scroll, are such variables 
which is created directly inside a class, but not inside any method. Second point. Instance variables are allocated memory inside the heap. Third point, instance variables are automatically initialized by the JVM with default values. Are these three points clear to everyone? That is it. Now, what about local variables? Because there are two types of variables. Let me show you. Now, watch it. I am removing all this. Huh. Now, remove this part. Okay. Watch it carefully, friends. See what I will do. I will remove this class dog. I will just remove it. Now, whatever is inside, I will remove it. Right now, this is my class demo. This is my main method. Main is also a function only. Function only. Which means, whatever variables I will create inside this function are local variables. Because what are local variables? They are such variables which is created directly inside a method, but not inside a class. Correct or not? Watch it. Int a. Okay. Next line. Uh, float b. Next line. Character c and uh, maybe boolean d like this have it. Four variables have created. Now, these are not instance. What are they? Local variables. Clear? Next, I want to print them. I just want to print to show you what is inside. System dot out dot print ln. Inside that I will go and uh, I will print a. Next, duplicate that line. I will print b. I will also print C, I will also print D. I am just printing. Clear till here? Now, what changes? Observe. First and foremost, I am going back into my memory because understanding Java means understanding this memory. Now, listen to me. Local variables are such variables which is not allocated memory on static, not even on heap. Then where is it, sir? Stack. Local variables means stack. Clear till here? Now watch it. Like this, memory for A will get allocated. Memory for B will get allocated. Memory for C will get allocated. And what is the last one? D. Not only that, they are empty. What will be inside it? What values? Default values. Ah, very good. What is the, what is A? Int the default value of int is 0. Very good. B, float 0, 0.0. C is a character. Character, uh, I mean, sorry, oh, here, okay, you make that as boolean then, okay, because just make it as, I am just trying to match it there, boolean type C, you tell, boolean type C. And finally, D, let us see what it is giving, ah, D, character type D, you tell. Okay, double type D, you tell. Double type D. Doesn't matter. I'm just trying to match what I'm showing there with here. Now tell me, double type D. What is D? Double. Double means again it is 0, 0.0 because real numbers. Now correct. Now watch it. System dot out dot print in A, B, C, D. 0, 0, 0.0, false 0, 0.0. This should be the output. Now watch it. I am going to go to my command prompt and if I go to my command prompt, I just compile this program. Suddenly, four errors. Where are those four errors? A, B, C, D and Java is asking, boss, how can you print A? A, scroll at that side, might not have been initialized. B might not have been initialized, C might not have been initialized, D might not have been initialized, which means it is complaining that A, nobody has given value. Nobody has given value. What are you asking me to print? Empty variable I cannot print. Why sir? Go back. 
sir you only told sir default value will be given my friends default values will not be given because default values are only provided to one type of variables what is that instance variables local variables are not given default values which means if you thought 0 0 0.0 false 0 0.0 was there you are highly mistaken none of these values are there how are you able to understand because local variables are such variables which are not initialized with default values only instance clear which means they are empty variables how can you print empty variables that is what java is also complaining might not have been initialized 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 clear now you may be like sir but i want to put value yeah jvm will not do it you do it i hope you will understand which means local variables are such variables which programmer should initialize clear now watch it i'll go here and one second i will give values what value sir may be like this i want to give a as 99 i'll give b as 99.99 i'll give c as maybe true i will give d as some 100.99 see i should give i'll go here and i'll tell a equal to what is it 99 very good b equal to 99.99 very good c equal to true and finally d equal to 100.99 yes or no friends now this is called as initialization giving value to now you can print clear watch it if in case i just compile my program absolutely no issues if i ex okay it is telling okay now you should help me why this error very good because see this is float 99.99 means automatically it is treated as double very good how to convert it f correct now if in case i go here and i clear the screen if i compile it you can see no issues if i execute it then uh, like this if i press enter 99 99.99 true 100.99 okay. clear which means now i am defining local variables three points point number 1 local variables are such variables which is created directly inside a method second point local variables are variables just bring that back are such variables which is allocated memory on the stack third point local variables are not automatically initialized who should initialize program that's it so no default value concept understood